Hi everybody, this is a video to show you how to take to Design Space the new SVG to make a box which holds um, a champagne flute and a small mini bottle of Prosecco. I've put off doing this because I wasn't sure how I was going to uh, deal with the fact that these two items are not very similar heights, So, but I've fixed that now. So what happens is you make an insert that the wine glass sits in, which is this one, the champagne flute, should I say, and then you make another little insert that just uh, assembles up and sits on top of that to the right, and then the little bottle sits in there and on top of there and then this insert which goes over the top holds them both really steady it's a lovely box actually it feels totally solid when it's made nothing can move around at all not strong enough for posting obviously but um it really is a, a lovely solid bag right i've just noticed there that little discrepancy it doesn't matter because that will still cut and i'll fix it before you get the svg but that should have been knocked out and I haven't done it for some reason. But it won't affect what we're doing here. Okay, so as usual, when you bring in any multi-part SVG which has score lines, your first job is to convert those lines that come in as cuts which actually need to be scores. And in my SVGs, they always live in this first subgroup in your layers panel. An SVG which has been saved properly to um, contain scores and multiple pieces and cuts is uh, should be saved in three groups you'll have an overall group which contains everything and then within that you've got your two subgroups one that has all the lines that need converting to scores so it's super quick and easy to select them and convert them and then another one which contains all the cut pieces and the tiny little cuts within them so we need to just select that first group and the name of it is the second line down in your layers panel if you just click on the name of it that selects everything within it Go to your operations menu and choose score and you can see that those lines get converted. While they're still selected you need to ungroup them and on the desktop version that I'm using ungroup lives at the top of your layers panel. It'll be elsewhere if you're working on the app. So that's the first ungroup. Then we need to select that second subgroup in the layers panel which contains all the cuts and all we need to do there is ungroup it. And then a third and final ungroup is to select the remaining group which still contains absolutely everything on the canvas and just ungroup it. And so now everything's an individual piece that we can uh, attach to the score lines that relate to it. It's really important that you just attach scores to individual pieces because if you attach the whole SVG you'll end up with a project that Design Space tells you is not compatible with your machine because it's too big but that's all it is. So quickest way to select an individual piece click on canvas somewhere close to one drag a box to enclose it and click on attach which if again on the desktop is at the base of your layers panel it'll be elsewhere if you're on the app and you need to do that for every piece on canvas which has score lines or, or cuts within it like that one that slice to the back of the um, insert there so we've done those three haven't we yeah this is the box back I do it like that in one big piece for the front and the sides so that you've no joins around this window or it would look messy and then the back section just joins on as a separate piece and that is the uh, acetate for the window. All right, so um, let's click make it and see what we need. I would usually use A3, so I'm going to choose A3 and if we do that, we can see that the main box cuts from two A3s and then, unfortunately, this little extra insert won't fit on anywhere. It's not huge, though. You would cut that from a third of a piece of A4 or a third of a piece of letter, something like that. So keep your small scraps and use it for these inserts. And then you just need about half a sheet of A4 for the acetate window if you're going to use it. I would put the acetate in if I were you. It just makes the box a tiny bit stronger and I think it makes it look a lot more luxurious and uh, good value for money. It makes your products look even nicer than they do already. So that's it. That's the basic way to make it. I'm not going to cut it, so I'm just going to press cancel. But I just wanted to show you um, what I'm going to do with mine. I haven't made it yet, the, the one for the photographs for Etsy. But when I do make it, I want to make it out of black card which I don't normally use for 
bottle boxes but I, do, I want to do it for this one because I'm going to put a, a gold vinyl um some wording on there it's either going to say celebrate or happy birthday I haven't decided yet and because it's I want that gold to stand out against the black which is why I'm using black but a black inner on any box is not a good idea it won't display things nicely so what I plan to do is to line all these vertical walls not the front but the back and the two sides with uh, some gorgeous antique gold uh, no shade glitter card stock I've got um, and to do that all I need to do is to create one two three panels to stick on the inside of the box once it's assembled now I'm sure that you could uh, most of you will be able to work out how to do that yourself but just in case you can't I'm just going to show you the quick way I'm going to do it so I'm going to bring in a shape just a free shape with square corners and I'm just going to position it on the back of my piece there I'll make it uh, yellow just for the sake of argument a bit goldy yeah we'll do that that one <laughs> doesn't matter does it because <laughs> we're just cutting it out of anything but you know uh, and because I need to change the proportions of it, I'm going to unclick that padlock and then I'm just going to use the counter handle to drag it to roughly the shape I want. Unlikely that you're going to see right to the corners of this box, so I think that will work for that one. Um, I'm going to copy and paste it because I'll have one the same height for the side walls. Uh, oh no, I can't drag it in, can I? Yeah, I've got to use the corner handle anyway. I always, I always think the there's a side handle on here like there is in Illustrator, but there isn't. So again, ungroup that padlock and just drag it so it roughly um, covers the side of the panel reasonably tightly. And then with that one, we just need to copy and paste it. So if I just zoom out again, we'll move those off and I would cut that. I'll probably need two A4s for that. Is it small enough? Yeah. I mean, would I get both of those? Let's have a look. No, it's too wide. Yeah, so I'd, I'm going to need two sheets of uh, A4 gold to line my box with. So the, the pictures that you're going to see on it, see, and uh, hopefully the thumbnail picture on YouTube shows what I've done with that and why I've done it. If you don't want to line your box, completely ignore those last bits I've done with the yellow card. If you've got any more questions when you come to cut it or make it, do not hesitate to get in touch. I'm always happy to help. Never think that your question is stupid. It's not. We all started somewhere. Uh, the links to get in touch are in the description below. And if you've just stumbled across this uh, video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is there too. Thanks a lot. Bye.